Now I see practical application. The time has come to begin to look at your life from a different perspective and so gradually move outside your boundaries. And so this lesson is designed to encourage you to begin taking small steps outside of your comfort zones. Why would we want to do this? Because we understand that who we are and how we do things at this present moment in time is not enough to take us to where we want to go. We also have to realise that our dreams don't lie inside our present boundaries. We have to go beyond. If you're not sure about that, let me ask you a hard question. If you think about what you've done and how you've applied yourself and approached your life over the past six months, and take that and apply those same strategies and that same wisdom and same attitude to the next six months of your life, are you going to be any further forward? Take that principle and ask yourself how that's going to translate over the next year, the next five years, the next ten years. We all hope that in ten years' time our lives will be so much better. But unless we start to change our approach now, more than likely it's going to be about the same. So the Now I See strategy incorporates raising our self-awareness and challenging ourselves out of our comfort zones. Self-awareness overrides our patterns. Self-awareness plays an important part in how we see and approach life. The more aware we are of what moves and motivates us, what makes us tick, and what we desire out of life, the more we are able to step outside our small world. We can better understand others, be more aware of how we affect others, and be more able to appreciate how others see us. At the same time, we can be more aware of what holds us back. As we covered in the last lesson, our safety mechanisms will do anything they can to keep us living small, safe lives. But we don't find our dreams and desires within our current boundaries. They are out there in the wilderness, in the dangerous, unknown places beyond. So that's where we need to go. Let's look at some practical ways to take us into new territory. Number one, challenging our comfort zones. Self-awareness itself can be life-changing. It's such a powerful key to unlocking a bigger life. We begin to see ourselves objectively, that we're one of 7.5 billion people in the world and everyone has a slightly different but equally valid perspective on life. If you want to take yourself into unknown territory just to see what it feels like, try learning a foreign language. If you find a language app and start learning French or Italian or Spanish and you can go deeper and start learning about the country itself, the culture and the people, you may be pleasantly surprised by the experience. Number two, where are you running on automatic? Here's an easy exercise in building self-awareness. Brushing your teeth, you probably don't give a thought to brushing your teeth. Over the years, you've perfected your oral care routine. It's a habit. It doesn't need any brain power whatsoever. So next time you brush your teeth, make things uncomfortable. Use your other hand. So if you're right-handed, brush it with your left hand and vice versa. Squeeze the toothpaste out with the opposite hand. Do things differently. The challenge is to see how many days you can keep this up until you slip back into your normal routine. It's a silly exercise, but it will teach you the importance of recognising how much we live on automatic. You're bound to find yourself staring into the bathroom mirror thinking, I just did all that on automatic. It doesn't really matter how you brush your teeth, but becoming more aware of habits that really are holding you back from experiencing a bigger life and suddenly you are in the driving seat. Number three, morning routine. If you haven't yet begun to change your morning routine, this is a great time to do so. You want to shake things up a little so that you're not just running on automatic the moment you get out of bed in the morning. If you started to use the checklist already, 
that's great you're on the right track keep at it if not I encourage you to begin now by setting your alarm 15 minutes earlier and using that time in the morning for your personal growth and development look at those 15 minutes as the most precious part of your day guard them and treasure them and begin to make them work for you in the previous lessons we looked at thankfulness spend five minutes in the morning being grateful and it can set you up for an amazing day your eyes are open to possibilities your heart is open to the little things in life that make all the difference here's something else to jolt you out of your normal give two minutes to thinking about your life goals and dreams we're going to look at goals and dreams in a later lecture but it's a great time now to start looking at them and I know it's hard I know we don't want to be reminded of our dreams because we haven't done anything about them for so long we've ignored those desires put them in a box and buried them in the basement there's nothing like thinking about the life you want to get you aware of where you are right now and it's not to make you feel inadequate or a failure it's instead a reminder that you need to press on and move forward towards them out of those comfort zones number four don't overlook the obvious in a previous lesson I mentioned a book that gave me an amazing insight into how our minds work reading books on personal growth or autobiographies is a great way to expand your mind and gain insight into a different way of approaching life if you aren't much of a reader find some good audiobooks to listen to and keep them on your phone or your tablet for when you've got five minutes spare and you can listen to them I also recommend using this course as a resource once you've completed it make use of it on a weekly basis to remind yourself of the principles and help you to stay on track remember it's about forming new success habits number five ask yourself difficult questions there's nothing better to raise our awareness and get ourselves thinking outside the box than to ask ourselves some difficult questions I can look at my circumstances and ask is there another way of approaching this have I resigned myself to my fate have I limited my options have I set myself expectations I can look at my career and say is this good enough for me am I limiting myself am I ambitious enough what are my options if anything were possible what would I spend the next 10 years doing I can look at my family life and ask is there a better way have I given up I can look at my hopes and dreams and ask have I sold myself short have I settled for ordinary I can look at my relationships do I only associate with others that reinforce my worldview or am I open to seeing things differently do I have a closed mindset when it comes to learning or spiritual matters or health or politics what am I overlooking am I too caught up in a fast pace of life that I'm neglecting my family or my health or the spiritual side of me so to conclude the now I see section of this course our way may not be the best way our current point of view our perspective on life our expectations all need to be challenged if we're to break free of the normal and embrace life with our eyes open to all the possibilities be aware of the habits and programs in your subconscious that keep you safe but keep you small our dreams lie beyond current boundaries be prepared to move out of your comfort zones make a point of learning from others especially from different cultures and backgrounds